Oh, are we recording? Mm -hmm. hmm. Cute. Hey, welcome to our channel. If you're returning, thank you for coming back. If you're new here, I'm Amanda. And I'm Esther. And you guys, pumpkin spice season, as we call it, or fall, is our very, very favorite. We love pumpkin spice. So the pumpkin spice latte just came out yesterday. We've already had one, right? And we're gonna be like drinking them all season long. But we also love other things pumpkin flavored. So we wanted to show you some pumpkin items today. We haven't tried any of these yet aside from the Starbucks coffee creamer that is not new that we tried last year. All these other things we're gonna be trying for the first time and this is round one because we have more goodness coming. We couldn't fit it all into one video. Two videos. Yep, two <laughs> videos, round one and two and we're just gonna get started. Give me all things pumpkin <laughs> spice. Seriously. Here we go. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm, pumpkin cheesecake. Soft baked cookies. Oh my Here goodness. Here we go. So yummy. You guys, I got this. I got she this. She can do it. I'm trying to get them on. Okay, so oh presentation goodness. gets a zero. <laughs> Pumpkin cheesecake. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep. I could definitely do that again. Mm. Probably shouldn't, but. It's actually spicy. It is. One thing about pumpkin spice and chai is I always feel like most places don't get it right. It's not actually spicy, right? It's supposed to be spicy. So this definitely is sweet, but it does have that spice, which is absolutely yeah. wonderful. I'm just thinking kids probably won't like it, but more for us. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so we have two cups of brewed coffee here, um, just regular coffee, and we have two different creamers. So we have the Starbucks pumpkin spice. Like I said, we did try this last year. We loved it. Um, but then we also got a different kind. So this is the Kalif. I, Califia. Califia. So this is coconut cream and almond milk. So a little milk bit. Milk alternative. Yep. A little bit dairy, dairy free for. <laughs> I'm known for that. <laughs> Gluten free, dairy free. So two different kinds. We're going to try them both. Don't be girl stuff. Okay. We're basically related. We do have our little pumpkin spice candle burning, even though it's 85 degrees now. I mean, you know, can't get enough. All the pumpkin thing. All right. Cheers. Here we go. <laughs> this one is good, but it's really subtle. Like, I don't know. I, I always feel like when you do the dairy free um, creamers, you have to add a little bit more in to get the flavor of the ones that have dairy in it. Go. Oh, it's way less sweet. Do you know what, <laughs> do yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Califia one is. I feel like you would need more, a lot more, a lot more in there to get the same flavor. And it's not as full flavored either, but it doesn't taste bad. It tastes, oh, it's good. It tastes really good. I mean, and you can taste the coffee flavor more. So right. if you're somebody who likes a light creamer, then yeah. that's definitely a good one to go for because yeah. it is light. Okay, so I found these. I don't think I've seen these before. These are the flips, so they're usually chocolate covered, but these are pumpkin spice flavored covered pretzels. Interesting, all right? Very curious. Let's find out. Oh, they have a bit of a drizzle. Weird. They're actually orange colored. As opposed to, I don't know. I was expecting <laughs> it to look like chocolate, so I guess. These taste like Christmas to me. Any covered pretzel because we always made them in my house growing up. So uh, as opposed to the cookies, this is super subtle, super light pumpkin flavor. Because you have the saltiness mm -hmm. to cut through it. Hmm. But the flavor, but, again, it's not overly sweet. Super yummy. Yeah. Like, wow. But we're going to have first... to give this stuff away. Yeah, or we'll eat it all. Kit Kat pumpkin pie flavor. I think they had these last year. They're not pumpkin spice, but pumpkin pie has pumpkin spice in it. Okay. So I would expect them to have that flavor. Definitely. They are orange, They're just orange like the flips. Too. Yep. I actually love treats this size, right? Because they like satisfied your sweet tooth without being giant and hugely sugar, I don't know, calories, I whatever. I keep knocking the pumpkin Let's over. Just... <laughs> Not my favorite. Not as good as the flips. Mm -mm. I don't know. Not a fan. It tastes fake. It doesn't <laughs> taste like actual pumpkin spice like the other stuff. Yeah. No. Not good. Not spicy, overly sweet, very fake tasting. Yeah. I'm not a huge pumpkin 
pie person. That tastes, that just doesn't taste like much of anything to me. It's really kind of dull. It just tastes like sugar. Okay, Ooh. so these are cinnamon, honey cinnamon nut thins and we got these to dip into some pumpkin spice cream cheese. Philadelphia, Philadelphia cream cheese. Nice. Mm. Okay, it's, I mean, I love cream cheese, so. It's very subtle. It is very subtle. Very, very subtle. I'm not even sure I'm tasting pumpkin spice at all. I know, I'm trying to. Let me try to use this as a spoon. <laughs> um, the crackers are delicious. Yeah, not they like are. we're trying to advertise that right now, but <laughs> I'm just gonna lick my fingers, you guys. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, alcohol time. <laughs> we it's bought two um two different liquors. So one is the Bailey's pumpkin spice, and then the other one is North Forest Cream Pumpkin Liqueur. Okay, so the first <laughs> one is the Bailey's. Whoops. <laughs> A little heavy handed there. <laughs> and Got excited. Then, so this one is cream pumpkin liqueur. Yum. Yes. So All right. right off the bat, the pumpkin cream is darker in color than the Bailey's. I'm so excited. Yum. It's good. It's good. It's really, really good. It's good. It's good. I'm it's trying. Really, this really reminds good. me of something. I, again, I don't feel like the pumpkin spice flavor is super strong in this one. But we are out eating all pumpkins. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's why it is. Oh, totally different. Yeah, totally different. The Bailey's is almost lighter flavored as well. This is like more of a dense spicy and that's a little bit sweeter. Not overly sweet, but definitely sweeter. They're both, they're both really good. I feel like this almost reminds me though of like the pumpkin spice latte. Oh, right? It? Like the sweet spicy. This one is more, like it, you said, dense. It has like a, a thicker flavor. You know what I mean? Like a, no, let's try to go back and Like see. a heavier flavor. They're definitely different. I guess between the two, I probably actually prefer this one. I would drink either and both would be great in coffee, actually. <laughs> Let's do it. Why not, right? I, I mean. <laughs> this one tastes like it might be stronger alcohol content. They're both 17%. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it's just because this one is less creamy. Here we go. Cheers again. Cheers again. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, we like liquor in our coffee. I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't? <laughs> so these are, I don't know if you've ever had these, they're called Smash Mallows, and they're supposed to be um, better for you, you know, organic sugar, Healthy. all that stuff. All right. I mean, this would probably taste amazing in a s'more. Well, yes, 100%, and also, we have been keeping our eye out <laughs> for the pumpkin spice hot cocoa. Oh. So, I mm -hmm. mean, this in there would just be amazing. So, you can do it. Okay. Yes, you do. Mm. Mm -hmm. This tastes more like nutmeg than anything else mm -hmm. we've had. I was gonna say, surprisingly, the, the flavor is really strong, especially since it's only half and half. Well, what's the other? It just tastes like a vanilla. It tastes like vanilla. Should we play the chubby bunnies? No. <laughs> we have enough sugar here. <laughs> it will be fun though. <laughs> Mmm, this is really this I mean, is really good, and I I I I'm serious with in a s'more. Yeah, with a Hershey bar and some graham crackers, like that would Dark bring chocolate. this. Dark chocolate. Truly, it tastes like actual pumpkin, which I'm kind of wondering. Natural yeah. pumpkin pie flavor. Don't yeah. say what what it is, but um, it is the strongest, most natural flavor I think we've tried so far. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Most true to yeah. Well, yum yum. I'm yum. excited. We might have to fight over this. Well, this is the last food item for today. Where there's original, um, these are soft caramels. So they're pumpkin spice flavored yeah, caramel. Pumpkin I spice. love caramel so much. I'm excited so, for this. So far, just tasting caramel. Mm -hmm. 
did they accidentally put just I mean, it tastes good, but it doesn't taste like pumpkin spice. Like, that doesn't say anything about pumpkin on the back. Hmm. To be fair, the packaging does say with a touch of pumpkin spice, but you guys, I'm not even, I'm not even tasting a touch. I, I literally, it tastes they like, taste a like a regular caramel. I would definitely buy the smash mellows over that. Yeah. Do, I mean, don't recommend if you're looking for a pumpkin spice treat. Not going to do the trick for you. Yep. Last up, a blue moon harvest pumpkin wheat beer. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've had this before. It's, I, and then I bought it this year and I was like, is it going to be as good? It is. I'm sorry. I've already had one. Yeah. Oh, I I've never I had this. I couldn't stop myself. You try it first. So this says it's brewed with real pumpkin and spices. So here we go. The problem is I can drink it way too fast. Yeah, that's really good. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, mm, it's mine. One more real quick. One more real quick. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's 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 a beer I could drink. I mean, it does actually taste like pumpkin, and it's not heavy. Uh, no. And it's actually a tad spicy. It's pretty much everything you could want in a beer. That's really good. in my opinion. So that's to really recap, good. okay, <laughs> I think my favorite things were the Smashmallows for sure. So these guys right here, um, this, and. Yeah, the cookies were really good. I would say these two items, they're both delicious. Neither of them are like super pumpkin-y. So if you're looking to get your pumpkin size fix on, neither of these will do that. But don't get me wrong, they're still they're still they're delicious. They're still delicious. Yeah. Um, the Kit Kat was yeah. Not these good. were these were these were good. I like. Yeah, those. these were good. Yeah. I thought for some reason no, it was just the Kit Kats. The Kit Kats were gross. And I would say they if you gross. can drink dairy, I would go for the Starbucks one. It, in my opinion, it is better. However, if you are not a dairy drinker or you're allergic or something, this one is still delicious. Just a little, you might need to use a little bit more. I would say too, like this is a great creamer to add just if you're drinking black coffee. And this would maybe be better if you were like, try, if you're, if you make your own lattes or whatever at right. home, like this would be better for that purpose. Yeah. Round one of pumpkin spice done for the season. And we will be back, we'll with, be back more. with more. <laughs> yes. So if you liked this video, even if you don't like pumpkin spice, but you like the video, <laughs> give us a thumbs up. But if you like it, comment below and tell us your favorite pumpkin spice thing. And if you hate it, tell us why you hate it. We want to know. Make sure you give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can see round two of pumpkin spice. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Thanks so much. Remember to spread the love. Bye. Bye.